there are three rules for continuity, but three things must be true. The limit of f of x as x approaches a should equal f of a. And that's the third one. First, the limit must the exist. The limit must exist, yeah. The function value at a must be defined. Then, once those two things are established, then you can say that the function value. Okay, so let's look at uh, something like, all right, so what's the first step here? Continuity. Uh, you might want to look for a bit, first of all. So if you want to write, wouldn't you want to write that as a limit? So you want to look for um, a limit as X approaches a certain A? Or? Yeah, well, we get to where the A's are first. So what you want to do is you want to factor the denominator. So we know the denominator can't equal zero. So we factor out the X, you get X squared minus 25. Okay. And X plus five. X minus five. So that if we do that, we know automatically the first rule has failed because it came from the denominator. And the fine. We know right. it's already just it's already discontinuous, we just gotta figure out what type of discontinuity is. And we do that by taking the limit. We take the limit, if X approaches five and we get infinity, it's an asymptote, non removable you got a number, it's a removable, and one of these open dots, okay? Now, uh, same thing will happen when we did negative five. So when I look at the denominator, I automatically realize it's undefined. And then, uh, therefore, we can say non-removable again, uh, vertical asymptote had x equals negative 5. But for 0, it's a little different, because here, it's still undefined. Look what happens when we take the limit. Uh, you would just get 0. You no? Know? Oh, wait, hold on. It's 1 over x plus 5, so you have 5 times negative 5, which is just 1 over negative 25. Okay. So because this is a number, that means we have one of those open dots. So we have a not or a removable. It's a removable, dot. right, because it, it's defined somewhere else rather than at the point it should be. At x equals 0. Right? He literally canceled the X's and removed it. Got it. So that's basically the steps. Always set the denominator equal to zero for the candidates, and then take the limit to figure out what type of discontinuity you have. Hope this has clarified things enough for you to practice some problems. Again, practice is the key to mastering any type of problem. Thank you, and have a nice day.